A candy crush moves on to the Mag Mile. That new store fills a vacant site in a prime location. Sally Schulze takes us to the new sweet <laughs> shop. With 11,400 square feet stuffed with candy, how do you pick? Maybe try this kid's plan to score a bag full. I just went to every single stand and just picked what they're there and what, and there was a lot of good stuff. The name leaves no doubt what you get at this new store on Michigan Avenue. It's sugar. A candy department store described as an experience, a sugar-filled emporium where you'll find giant gummies, nerds, sour patch kids. You can buy treats by the pound, and even Chicago skyline is oh so sweet. I was like, oh wow, and I was like, it's so colorful, it's fresh. I'm like, I love sweet stuff. I have a big sweet tooth, so this is awesome. What's awesome for Chicago is that its sugar fills the spot left vacant when the Disney store closed last year. It's important to fill every space, and it's important to fill the space with the right retailer. So that's part of what we're always looking for, making sure that we have the right retail mix on the avenue in the district. Things that will pull people, draw people to Michigan Avenue. For the Magnificent Mile Association, there's still work to do, bringing back other retailers and of course visitors. We certainly know that there have been concerns about safety. That's why we're doing everything we can to ensure that people are safe when they come to Michigan Avenue. You'll find police parked along Michigan Avenue, but also growing crowds. That includes families drawn to a sugar high before the candy store's grand opening. I did tons of research about Chicago and hadn't seen this store. So when we were walking Michigan Avenue, I saw it and I was like, well, we have to go in there. So <laughs> a sweet step towards springing back on the Mag Mile on Michigan Avenue. Sally Schulze, Fox 32, Chicago.